Hey, good morning, everybody. God bless you today. It is Mark here, Weatherman Plus. It is actually Thursday, November 12th. Tomorrow is actually Friday the 13th. I don't know if anybody thought about that yet. I just noticed myself. Hope you all having a blessed day today. Uh, here's the late, latest information from NOAA. ADA, as of 4 a.m., is down to 50 miles per hour. Yay, it's going away. Thank God. I know a lot of y'all lost power. God bless y'all out there. It is moving northeast at 13 miles per hour. Matter of fact, let me check and see what the power outage is for y'all over there. 15,900 still out power, and there's lots of people out power if you check the whole east coast. But if you are out of power, make sure to go to poweroutage.us. It does show, you can see where the storm hit the worst. It does show who's working on your power, and every 10 minutes it updates. That way if people have power around you, believe you will be getting power soon so that would be a great thing now disturbance one which is uh invest 98l it will be tropical depression 30 slash tropical depression iota now it has 90 percent chance i expect sometime today this will be tropical depression 30 now as far as the information on it i have some information for y'all let me go over ada first from what y'all going to get from ADA for the next 36 hours for Georgia, South Carolina. Here's the lower half of North Carolina. I got another view for you. But here's your rainfall that you can expect for the next 36 hours. And here's your rainfall for the next 48 hours because you get a little bit more weather for North Carolina, Virginia, and in the Northeast. But you can easily see that just Virginia alone, you get a 9.2 inch in this one little area, but most of y'all will get three to four more inches of rainfall coming from Ada as it's leaving. So God bless y'all. I hope y'all don't lose power as well. Now this is your sea surface temperatures. As you can see, it's very warm right here in the Caribbean. That's why we just had that issue. Now if you look in the next 10 days, because I'm going to show you the next 10 days, you can see it is still very, very warm in the Caribbean. Matter of fact, if you go all the way to 30 days, you can see it's still warm in the Caribbean. Now, this is what I tried showing yesterday. I don't know who all saw the video or not. I did notice YouTube went down last night. Matter of fact, it was a little crazy. I'm looking at the video. It's got 2,000, over 2,000 views the first hour. Then it went down to 300 immediately. I was like, oh no, what happened? What did I do? <laughs> did I say something on the video I didn't know about? So I thought that people just didn't want to see me or was mad at me. I fell down. It was around 7 p.m. I went to bed <laughs> at 7 p.m. So I woke up this morning. I saw everybody's messages that YouTube went down. God bless you. It was, it was sad, but it was good to hear that that's what it was. Now, if you look, we just passed Ada. In our next anomaly, there is something going on for the 15th. I am showing that it will be smaller than what will go on all the way until the 19th. So we do have a bigger one coming after the smaller one. Now, if you look all the way in December, you can see that the next one after our bigger one is going to be another smaller one at the end of November plus December. December 6th through the 12th, we have more potential velocity anomalies. So this is going to go all the way into the end of December. And I did see one later in December. I don't want to bring that up. It's too far away. But a Christmas hurricane, that don't even sound right. Now here's your, your GEFS anomalies for your 31 members. And as you can watch and see, you'll see that this, the st next storm that does pop up, it will be from uh, Invest 98L. And most of them show that it does show up right below Jamaica. They do pop up below Jamaica. They won't affect J Jamaica directly, just a little bit of rainfall. But they do show that they pop up below Jamaica. That's going to be the starting point. Now, if you go up a little bit, you can see exactly what happens with all the models. And all the models are pretty much in agreement. They do change after Jamaica. There is one Jamaica that does show that it does build up near you. So I'm going to watch it very carefully for you. But as you can see, the other ones all show that it passes by you without anything hurting you. You might get a couple of days of rainfall, but definitely you know, nothing seriously bad like this popping up over you. 
Now, as we go on, you can see that the one popping up over you gets real strong and heads towards the Gulf. Now, the main player that's going to be on this next tropical cyclone we have is going to be this high pressure over USA. Now, it's going to block it from going into the Gulf. That's why it comes mostly to Central America. And I even seen one model yesterday that after it went to Central America, it swooped back around because the high pressure moved on and it came back in towards us, towards the Gulf. I will update that later. I want to confirm that information first. But you do see one also goes towards Belize, one towards Nicaragua, Belize, 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 Nicaragua. This one's still in the Caribbean. But this one's agreeing with this one that it's trying to make its way towards the Gulf. But it gets blocked by the high pressure, which is a good thing. This one shows Nicaragua. And as we go up a little bit further, you can see what happens. One actually shows, the one that shows that it builds up by Jamaica real strong, actually does make it towards Florida. And it actually becomes a pretty big system. So I hope that don't show. I hope that high pressure does block that. Uh, it shows that this one down here it gets blocked, but it's able to move in later and it affects the Yucatan Cancun area. This one's Belize as well. This one still shows us it pops up late by Jamaica. So does this one as well. But as you keep on going, you can see that it might be also an East Coast problem. It goes all the way up through the East Coast. This one starts popping up and going towards the East Coast as well. And it becomes quite a system. If you look at this one right here, right here, on E3, you can see it meets up and becomes something big for the East Coast. So I hope that that don't form as well. But then again, here's another one showing it going through Cuba, affecting Florida. So we really need to keep our eye on this on this next one because it's doing some tricks. Uh, the high pressure is blocking it, but however, it is making its way in, whether it's going uh, in front of the, the high pressure or behind the high pressure. I'm showing we're going to have a problem with it either way. Now, here's the spaghetti models for, uh, I'm sorry, the guidance members for everything that, that could happen uh, according to the, the GEFS. And it does show that mostly the members show that it goes towards Central America somewhere, either Nicaragua, Honduras, or Belize. And now the, the one that you saw powerful, this is it right here. It goes past Jamaica and it goes towards the Gulf and it tries to reach up with us. We just need more time to see exactly what's going on. But here's how all that looks. If you put it in the SpaghettiOs, this is controlled, perturbed members, so you can see it as pressures. And here's the possibilities. Now, so far, I'm showing that the small possibilities of hitting Belize or Nicaragua is possible in the beginning, which would be more believable. If you remember, it, had small, it showed a small anomaly before a big anomaly. And I think another possibility is that a small... Uh, Low pressure could build up maybe a tropical depression, tropical storm, and that could be what affects Nicaragua or Honduras, and we still would have the big anomaly also. So that, that is a playing factor also. We could be having two things at one time with Central America getting the easy one and us getting the big one. That don't look good. Now, if you go to the Korean model, this model I love the best. That's why I'm showing it to you. It shows the best case scenario. It shows a tropical storm to a tropical hurricane going towards Central America. And then, as you see, the high pressure moves in, and it does block it from going any further, and then it goes back south. And it don't affect Nicaragua. It don't affect Honduras. Maybe some winds and some rain. But it goes away, and then it goes towards Guatemala and dies. So affecting nobody except slight tropical storm possibilities. Now that was the best case scenario so far. Now the Euro model shows that it does again go towards Nicaragua and Honduras, mostly in Honduras, and it does go as a 9088, which is a strong tropical storm. It is not quite a hurricane as far as millibars go until it's a 983. So that wouldn't be so bad even though they don't need one at all. Now the GFS, when you follow the GFS, and they both show Jamaica that Everything's below you. You're only going to get a couple of days of rain. If you saw the video yesterday, you're only going to get a couple of days. Uh, GFS shows that it actually strengthens to a hurricane. It gets down to 965, and then as it moves in, it gets stronger to 970, and then it hits y'all as a hurricane. Now, the Nav Gem. The Nav Gem shows that it's just a slight tropical storm, and it goes towards Belize, the edge of Guatemala, but mostly Belize, and then it goes down 
towards uh, Guatemala. So that one isn't actually that bad compared to the other models. That's why I think that the first system we're going to have is going to be towards Central America. I showed that it probably will be, hopefully, a low-end tropical storm. And then the big one will come towards the Gulf with us, and it has to deal with the high pressures. And the warm waters are still there. It's not going nowhere all the way to Christmas time almost. Now, this is your velocity uh, potential for anomalies. Now, this one is your Euro. And the Euro does show that it does does form up uh, right in the Caribbean, and it does get down to 980 millibars. Uh, if you go by the UK Met, it shows that it does get to 980 for a second, and then it skims. If you see it, it skims Honduras right there, and this one is trying to come back, but it's probably dealing with the high pressures. We need more time to, to com concur that. Now, GFS shows the worst case scenario. GFS shows that it does get down to 980. As a matter of fact, it shows it gets down to 960 millibars. And then it gets on shore as a 980, then a 1,000. So it's, it shows a, a strong hurricane. Not super strong, but strong enough. And then finally, the Canadian model does show it gets down to 980 as well, and it goes towards uh, Honduras. So the way I see it is no matter what, I think Central America is going to get uh, a tropical storm versus a weekend low-end Cat 1 hurricane some, sometime within the next 10 days. So God bless you over there. I know y'all don't need this at all. <laughs> the last thing y'all need is, is a, any kind of rainfall. I saw the videos. Y'all been through enough. Bless y'all. My heart does feel for y'all. Matter of fact, I had to stop earlier because I was thinking about y'all. and it, it teared me up. I apologize for everything y'all going through. And I pray that God makes it better for you. Let me pray for you. The best one. I love this one. Psalm 28. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord my rock, be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when, when I lift up my hands towards thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their gener their, their, sorry which speaks which speak I'm sorry which speak peace to their neighbors but mischief is in their hearts and that is so true give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors give them after the work of their hands render to them their desert because they regard not the works of the Lord nor the operation of his hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is my strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Feed them also. And lift them up forever. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great Thursday today. Don't be too superstitious about it being Friday the 13th tomorrow. Hit the like button if I did like you in, in any way. And if you haven't been here before, subscribe. What are you waiting for? I do this every day. I also will pray for your soul every day. That's the most important part to me. It's, it's, it's not stop the religion and more weather. It's more, more religion and stop the weather. It is God comes first. Amen. God bless you all. Hope you all have a great day today. All glory does go to God. Amen.